Welcome to Precision Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 11, switch statement in C-sharp. In part 10, we have seen how if statements work in C-sharp. So in this session, we will learn switch statement, break statement, and go to statement. So when do we actually use switch statement? Actually, multiple if-else statements can be replaced with a switch statement. If you look at this slide, on the left-hand side, we have multiple if else if statements which are actually replaced by a switch statement. Let's look at an example. Let's prompt the user to enter a number. So please enter a number. And once the user has entered the number, we'll go ahead and store it in a variable called user number. So we read that number that the user has entered from the console and we need to convert that to integer and we use the int.parse method to do that job for us. So once you have the number that the user has entered, you can make basically make use of switch statement. First let's write the program using if statement. If user number equal to 10 then we can say console.writeLine here number is 10 now similarly else if the number is 20 then user number is 20 else if it's 30 then we print the message your number is 30 if it's not 10 20 or 30 then we'll have an else part where we will say your number is not 10 20 and 30 something else number is not 10 20 and 30 okay now if you look at this particular program you know it's pretty simple so let's go ahead and run that so please enter a number we are asking the user to enter a number so once he enters let's say for example 20 and presses enter it says your number is 20 okay so what's happening here it first checks okay is your number 10 now it comes to the else if part your number is 20 yes it prints this line and then it won't bother checking the other conditions because this is else if in the previous part we have seen why okay now this entire if else if section can actually be replaced with a switch statement so let's see how to do that so instead of using that multiple if else statements i can say switch and i want to switch on this user number okay so switch on the user number and now the value in that user number can be any integer so my case statement should actually be an integer for example it can be 10 so if it is 10 what is it that you want to do I want to print a message onto this console saying that your number is 10 so we will say your number is 10 and we need to have a break statement okay all i have to do if the number is 10 is print that the number is 10 and break out of the switch statement okay similarly if the number is 20 and 30 if the number is 20 then we want to print a message saying that the number is 20 if it is 30 then we want to print a message saying so and if it is not 10, 20, or 30, then we can have a default case where we can say your number is not 10, 20, and 30. Your number is not 10, 20, and 30. And then obviously break out of the switch statement so instead of multiple else if statements you know we are using switch statements which in case so what's going to happen here the number that the user has entered 
you know we get it that into this variable and if it is 10 this piece of code gets executed if it is 20 this piece of code and so on and so forth and we need to have break statement after each case statement okay so if it's 10 it executes this and breaks out of the switch statement so if I go ahead and run this program and if I enter let's say 20 so it comes to that piece 20 executes that line and breaks out of the switch statement so break statement why do we use it to break out of the switch statement so that the rest of the pieces of code are not executed okay now let's slightly change this program to you know to understand another concept we can have multiple case statements together actually I can remove that remove that and a slight modification to this program so I'm saying case 10 20 and 30 your number is 30 instead of hard coding that what I can do is I can use a placeholder and then if it is 10 20 or 30 print that number if it, if it is anything else then we say your number is not 10 20 and 30 effectively what we are doing here is we are joining multiple case statements together now this case statement doesn't have any code this case statement doesn't have any code the only code that's present is on this case statement so if the user number is 10 or 20 what's going to happen it comes here there's no code to execute so it falls to this and there's no code to execute here as well so it it falls to this code this case and then executes this code so for case 10 20 or 30 the same piece of code gets executed so it's possible to combine case statements together like this if you want the same piece of code to be executed for those conditions okay so now if I go ahead and run my program there isn't going to be any visible difference except that we have structured that a little different so if I go ahead and enter 20 your number is 20 all right so we have seen how to replace multiple if else statements with a switch statement now we also have seen how to join multiple case statements together and now we will understand go to statement actually we'll will create a productive you know a, a simple practical application maybe a coffee purchasing program okay uh, this is going to consume a little of time so we will do that in our next session thank you for listening have a great day